Alright you guys, got another video here for you on everything you need to know before buying a gaming PC. Now if you've been given some money for Christmas and you're looking to buy yourself a gaming PC, a lot of people tend to go straight over to eBay. Now be very careful with what you buy on eBay because there's a lot of old computers inside new cases and that's a, a common trait that I see on eBay. I'm going to show you some of the things to look out for if you do want to buy yourself a cheap PC and you don't want to get your fingers burnt or end up spending your hard-earned cash on something that's really old. So how can we tell by looking at a, an advert like this? So looking at this advert, I can see some telltale signs already. So when I see fast gaming PC or ultra fast gaming PC, I think to myself, what are they trying to sell? So they've got Intel Core i5. This is another common thing I see people where they don't tell you what i5 it is. That means they're trying to hide something. 8 gigabytes of RAM, this would be. Now, normally when you see 8 gigabytes, it's normally tied with something that's really old, uh, like an i5 or an i7, an, an old uh, sort of processor and things like that. So looking at HDD here, and we've got GT1030. This shouts to me as it's a really uh, sort of old system, but it does actually say it is new, so I could be wrong. So let's investigate a little bit further. Looking at the images here, we can see that all of the images are taken at an angle. They're not showing you inside of the case. And if they do show you photos like this, then steer clear because they're not showing you inside and it's more than likely going to have some old Dell Optiplex in there or some HP system. And all they've done is rip the guts out of that old Dell Optiplex and put it into a brand new case. This is a common thing you're going to see on places like eBay. So it's £309.99 for a brand new computer and £15 delivery. Looking at the back I.O. shield is another telltale sign of seeing how hold this is. And you can see on the top here, it's got the uh, PS2 type inputs for your mouse and keyboard. That's normally a sign that it's pretty old. Going down a little bit further, we can see a DVI on there. We can see a USB uh, 2.0 or maybe a 1.1 or something like that on the back there. We also have VGA or connections on there as well. So this tells me that this system is pretty old. So let's go down to the description, take a look there. So looking here, you can see it does say condition new, and it says a brand new unused, unopened and undamaged item in original retail packaging. Now this is where you've got to be careful because they're going to claim that they meant the case is brand new in unused and unopened, and that's what they're going to claim. Whereas all the other parts are going to be used. It doesn't say anything inside here. All it talks about is how great the uh, case looks with the RGB fans and everything else and dust filters. But when you come down, it says Intel Core i5 second gen processor, which straight away tells me it's an old uh, CPU in there. Also, you've got a GT1030 overclock edition. This could be brand new. There again, it could be used. If they're saying that this is new, which it can't be new because it's an old CPU, then they must be lying. The 500 gigabyte hard drive storage is another telltale sign that it's been ripped out of a Dell Optiplex or something like that, or they've picked up an old system and ripped the guts out of it and put it in a new case, and now trying to sell it onto you as a new gaming PC. And it certainly isn't a new gaming PC, not with USB 2.0 ports on it. So they're the things to look out for when you're buying something like this. Be very, very careful um, because this is an old system. Let's move on to this next one here. Gaming PC with Asus ROG Strix GTX 1080, which is a pretty decent card for 2021. It's an old card, but it's still capable of playing a lot of games. And you can see it's got three hours to go and it's £359 at the moment. So basically you're looking at an old system here now, at least this person has actually told you that is an i7-920 in here, which is a CPU that was uh, released in about 2008, which tells you how old that CPU is. That case is an old case, and uh, pretty much everything is old in here, even the uh, GPU. So you'd have no clue of how old that GPU is and, and sort of what sort of life it's had and whether it's going to last any long, long period of time. So you have to bear that in mind when you're buying something like this. So let's take a look inside here and see what it looks like. 
So you can see the cable management is not the best, and that is a telltale sign it's an old system. They've got Molex connectors connecting to the actual GPU here, and again, uh, the actual cable management is sort of non-existent. There's no modern case here, so you can't hide the cables. Looks pretty bad. And again, this is a really old system. So bear in mind that you are spending a quite a bit of money on an old system. But the reason why it's selling so well at the moment is because of that Asus ROG Strix a GTX 1080 in there. People want to get their hands on that so they can use it for gaming. And that's the reason why they're selling it. Someone's probably picked this old PC up for peanuts and now they're selling it on because they've got a, a GTX 1080 somewhere and stuck it in there and trying to sell it as a gaming system. Let's move on to this one here. Custom LED gaming PC, Intel Core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 1 terabyte hard drive, GT710. Well, with a GT710, that is certainly not a gaming PC, even though they're listing it as a gaming PC. So they do show you the actual uh, images inside here. You can actually zoom in and you can see just generic RAM, a cheap motherboard, and uh, some cheap components in there. And that's exactly what you're going to get for your hard-earned cash. Not, nothing too great there, as you can see. £299, you might think that's not too bad. Um, but again, it's not that great of a deal. And look at the description. There is actual no description that you can uh, sort of determine what CPU is in there. It just says Core i5. That means it's probably an old i5, and he doesn't want to tell you that it's a second gen or, or something like that inside that system. It does say USB 2.0 in there. And it does tell you a bunch of other stuff, but it doesn't show you anything else about this system. So brilliant for all tasks. And he's not mentioning too much about gaming, even though he says custom LED gaming PC at the beginning. And if you look closer here on the motherboard, you can see here B75G uh, version 1.2. And if you do a search on that with that sort of pattern, you can get a general idea of what motherboard that is. And I can tell you right now, that is not your standard motherboard, which probably is some sort of Chinese motherboard. And that tells me they've taken the parts out of an old Dell Optiplex or something like that and put the new motherboard in, which is a, a Chinese branded motherboard, and then put the parts into there, like the RAM and CPU and stuff like that. Or they've bought everything from AliExpress and basically built their own PC with it. Either way, it's still old stuff. So if we look here, this is the motherboard here, which I found, which is the Jingsha B75-G. It's a Chinese motherboard, and you can probably buy a bundle like this from AliExpress, where you can buy the chip, RAM, and uh, motherboard as a bundle for a pretty cheap price. So it is an old 1155 socket CPU in there, which means it's pretty old. So looking at this one here, we can see a gaming PC, Intel i7 GTX 970, 16 gigabytes of RAM, SSD, and a one terabyte hard drive, 500 pounds. Pretty expensive. And, but you've got a GTX 970 in there. But again, if you're looking at the back of the actual machine, they're not showing you inside. They're doing that nice acute angle so you can't see in here. As you can see here, no shots of inside. But if you look at the back of the system, you can see here it does have a DVI connector and also that ps2 connections at the top which tells me it's an old uh, system and uh, usb 2.0 there as well so let's move on down to the description and this one does have an i7 3770 in here which is a third generation intel processor which is pretty old it does have a new psu 500 watt cooler master psu in there and again you can see the specs right there it's pretty old uh, system now, there is another particular type of PC you're going to see on eBay. It is clearly listed, and it does put all the specs there, which is very good of the uh, seller, because it just lets you know straight out of the gate that what you're going to actually get into here. Ultra-fast i3. It's not going to be ultra-fast, but it is an i3 gaming PC tower with Wi-Fi and 8 gigabyte of RAM and 1 terabyte hard drive. It does have a 2 gigabyte of uh, 710 graphics so let's see here our gaming pcs are made using brand new components excluding the motherboard ram and cpu so you can see pretty much the whole pc but when you're looking inside of here you can actually select a color but for 264 pounds you might be thinking that is not a bad deal 
for what you're getting. But if you look inside here, the system is really old. How, do, how can I tell this is really old? Because look at the caps on the motherboard. They're really old caps. No one uses caps like this on motherboards anymore. So this tells me this is a pretty old system inside there. Uh, the power supply is not great, to be honest with you. And again, that's what you're getting into when you're buying these old systems. And you can see right here on the listing, it says Intel Core i3 second gen processor right there. And that GT710. I mean, that's a £40 graphics card, £35 graphics card. It's not that much. And again, it's not going to be an enjoyable experience. And it certainly is on the hardcore gaming system. You're going to end up uh, being frustrated because of the frame rates are going to be pretty low. Now, it might play some games, uh, but it's not going to play all the games that you think it's going to play. And if you look here, it can tell you here, games, please make sure this system matches game specifications you wish to play. Different games have different various system requirements. Ask for more information. So they list up here at Fortnite because I know it's pretty easy to play. But again, if you wanted to play something like The Witcher or something like that, it's not going to happen. You're going to end up struggling uh, with uh, this particular gaming PC. Again, RGB to use to uh, lure you in. People have got a little bit of money to burn and then they see RGB and they think it's a modern computer, buy it and end up getting their fingers burnt. And there is literally tons of these all over uh, you know, eBay. You can see here, uh, excluding the motherboard RAM and CPU. It's just literally just using cheap cases with RGB fans. And you can see there's loads of them here. When you list them out here, i3-2100, i5-2400, i7-2600. That's second gen processors right there. Really, really old. So where are they getting these from? Well, they're probably companies that are doing massive rollouts to uh, offices and stuff like that, getting these old systems and ripping all the CPUs and RAM and motherboards out of them and putting them into cases and then making a sale on them and selling them. Uh, you know, these are all old systems. So they're not selling the actual Dell Optiplexes. They're actually ripping the guts out and selling it in a different case. And it's much more sellable that way to someone who wants a gaming system. And when you look inside here, you'll see the images inside here. They're actually using uh, another board here, which might be some sort of cheap ge uh, generic board, which they're getting some sort of Chinese board. But you've got to be careful because when you look at that picture, that looks like a brand new motherboard or, or some sort of Chinese motherboard. And if you look here at the graphics card as well, that is not the same graphics card as you're going to get with your particular build. And if you look on the listing here, it tells you that the components are all new apart from the motherboard, RAM and CPU. So you're not going to get that, uh, you know, that sort of system, what you're seeing inside there. Now, if you do a search on eBay, or gaming PC, you're going to see tons and tons of websites that are selling these particular gaming PCs for dirt cheap. They've actually come down in price. They were a lot more money than this. Maybe the market's drying up a little bit and people are getting a bit more cute to this sort of stuff. But, you know, again, they're still selling old rubbish to uh, people thinking they're going to get a PC that's pretty decent. Because the GPUs are so expensive right now, even this HP gaming PC, which is a GTX 1060 6 gigabyte GPU in there, they're asking at the moment for £470, which is a lot of money for an old Dell HP system. And it's just because of the graphics card in there, really. You can go through here and see there's tons of them on here. And you can just do your research. It doesn't take long to see that all of these I would not even touch with a 10 foot barge pole now you may be saying to yourself well what else can i buy uh, if there's only stuff on ebay to buy uh, then that might be all i can get but that's not true if you do your research and have a look around you can build yourself a system or get someone to build one for you or even you can buy something like these which are cyber power amd ryzen 5 8 gigabytes of ram 480 gigabytes ssd gaming desktop pc it's brand new it's going to have a warranty and it's only £500. That's cheaper than some of the old machines that they're selling on that site there. So you have to bear that in mind. You're getting Windows 11 on here. You're also getting a warranty. You're getting a Ryzen 5 5600G, which is a plenty capable of playing some good games on there. And again, there's room for upgradability. You can stick in a, a graphics card in there and things like that at a later date when the prices do come down. So it's much more better going for something like this, which is going to have 
uh, more longevity to it than that old system there. Okay, so this one's another Cyber Power PC, which is £799, but for this one, you're getting 420 mil uh, RGB fans here. Uh, it's got an i5 10400F six core processor in it, which is a really nice processor. You're also getting an MSI motherboard. You're getting an NVMe drive in here, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and you're getting a GTX 1650 MSI uh, graphics card in here, which is going to be plenty, 650 watt power supply. And like I said, you're getting a warranty with this one, a bit of a bit more of a you know a safety net with this particular type of uh, build. Now this one's a PC specialist on Curry's and they're actually selling this one for £629. But you're getting an i3 10100F processor in here, 8 gigs of uh, RAM and also 1 terabyte of storage and a 256 gigabytes of SSD. So NVMe uh, drive in here is not present, I don't think. I think this is just a standard SSD. But it does have a GTX 1650 in it, which is a 4 gig card. And it plays Fortnite at 141 frames per second, playing at 1080p, which is a lot better than what you would get with that GT710, I can tell you. So that's the thing that you're looking at when you're buying stuff off of eBay. It's all used. You're not getting any sort of warranty or anything like that. And you're buying stuff that's pretty much hammered and had a hard life. Whereas this is all brand new stuff. And it's not much more money. So if you did a bit more research, I'm pretty sure you can find better deals than what I've done. I've just literally just searched for five minutes and found a couple of little deals there. But I'm just showing you what is out there rather than spending all your money on some old rubbish that's been made to look good when this is a brand new system. Now, I do understand that some people can't afford to spend the big bucks on PCs. And if that is the case and you're forced to use places like eBay, just do your research and make sure it can do exactly what you want it to do. If it's super old, then steer clear of it. There is a deal to be had sometimes. You do get honest people out there. You just have to sift through all the scammers and all the sharks out there that are looking to, uh, you know, scam you out of your cash. That's the thing you have to watch when you're buying stuff on eBay. It's just literally a minefield on there. And I just tend to steer clear of it like the plague. It's really bad. So anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Follow along with this sort of guide and you should be able to find yourself a decent deal this Christmas. Um, thanks again for watching. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your name is rolling up on the screen right now and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.